Fallen angels have long been the subject of several discussions and controversies. Most people disregard the existence of these creatures, but it will surprise you to know that there are currently more fallen angels roaming on the surface of the earth than the entire population of men. In the book of Revelation, John spoke about a vision he had of the heavens, and in the vision he revealed the number of angels he beheld were myriads upon myriads. According to the Oxford Dictionary, the term myriad means a countless or extremely great number of people or things. So practically the one-third of angels who were sacked unto the earth were practically uncountable. These beings have now found their place on earth and now live amongst us. You will be surprised to know that some of these angels were put into chains by God as a result of their dreadfulness and terror. So even in their fallen state, they could do so much harm to the earth that God practically had to put them in chains and prisons. Jude chapter 1 verse 6. And the angels who did not keep their positions of authority, but abandoned their proper dwelling, these he has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. Other factions of angels who fell were left to roam freely on earth. But the question here is that how did these once holy beings left their place of glory to such terrible states? You see, just like men after we sinned, angels were given the free will to choose between right and wrong after their creation. One evident thing is that the Lord God Almighty does not take delight in coercing His creatures to be subject unto His authority, but He rather gives the free will to all His creatures to choose between right and wrong, and we can see these throughout the scriptures. These angels who fell were made in different ranks and different forms and were given different places of power. Some were made princes, some archangels, some cherubims just like Satan himself was, some seraphims, some ophanims, and others as throne angels. These angels at first hand were given a taste of the might of the Almighty God as they beheld the omnipotence and dreadfulness of God. These angels practically knew how glorious God Almighty was and how dreadful and terrible the Almighty was in His anger. They worshipped and praised God daily until one day something terrible happened. One of the covering cherubims who was the closest to God's throne approached these holy orders of angels with a plan, a plan to stage an insurrection against God and thereby stage a breakaway to establish their own kingdom. It is rather unclear as to how Satan, then Lucifer, managed to convince these holy beings. But one thing was clear. Whatever strategy he used proved potent enough as billions upon billions of angels, totaling one-third of angels in heaven, fell to his schemes, and believed they could join Satan in his new kingdom he wanted to establish. But one thing was obvious. Satan's plans and schemes had long come to the knowledge of the Almighty, who knows all things, but God allowed it to happen because He had always given everyone the space to choose for Himself good or evil, light or darkness, and wrong or right. But one thing that no one can dispute is the fact that God will bring all things into judgment, whether good or bad. So it got to the point where Satan had already succeeded in organizing his own armies in the heavens. There was a great war that broke out in heaven, according to Revelation chapter 12. God is a holy God and cannot dwell amid darkness. So the armies of the Most High, led by Michael the archangel, fought with the dragon, who is Lucifer. The devil and his host also fought back, but they were no match for Michael and his host so they were stripped of the glory that was upon them. They also lost their place in heaven and were cast out of the heavens together with Lucifer and his host of angels. These angels were now known as fallen angels, which is to say angels who had fallen from their place of glory into a place where they are damned forever. The amazing news is that these angels will not remain on earth forever. There is an appointed time where they will all be destroyed. Do you think God should have destroyed them promptly instead of throwing them down to the earth? Let us know what you think in the comment section. We put a lot of work into making our videos, so don't leave without smashing the like button so we can reach more people. Peace.